everyone. Welcome to Akira san Sushi at Home. Today we have Kirame from the. We will break this down and show you how to make lovely sashimi dish and sushi. Oh! Hello everyone, this is Yuri. Hi. Part 1 of Flounder episode will feature step-by-step -step commentary on how to break the fish down into sashimi filet. Now let's begin. Let's start from washing flounder skin in sink. Use hawashi, a scrubbing brush, and rub both sides. Flounder is a little slimier compared to other types of fish, and this sliminess is filled with bacteria. Take your time and scrub it away. Now wipe off water, and we are all set. Step 2. We will scrape off scales. If you have Japanese knife like this, it would be perfect. What Akira-san has here is called Yanagi Bocho. If you don't have one, something with a thin blade would also work. We will use knife technique called Tsukibiki. Start from the root of the tail and scrape off the brown part that looks like skin. These actually are all scales. Then move your knife big in a sawing motion. You might wonder how to slice off scale without cutting flounder's meat together. Top tip is to be careful of knife angle. Do not tilt it downwards and do as if you're lifting a blade a little. Also, always make sure to sharpen the blade beforehand too. When scraping scales around Engawa, bring chopping board towards you. This makes knife action way much easier. Here is the belly. Touch it and you can feel the dent. Because of this, it's a bit tricky to scrape scales around here, so put your hand underneath the flounder and lift it like this. You can keep the scales on the face, but it's best to go up until the rear end of Kama. Turn it around and do the same thing on upper half of the body. Flounder we are referring to in this episode is hirame, but there are another fish called kare that some people refer to as flounder as well. They share the same name but it tastes a lot different. This is because hirame and kare eat different things. Hirame needs to move faster to catch bait, so it's muscular, therefore meat is nice and chewy. Hirame also have bigger mouths and its cheek meat is said to be delish too. We will now remove scales on this white side, just like we did for the front side. As scales are thinner compared to the other side, it's a bit more tricky to scrape off, and this kind of thing often happens. We scrape off meat together with scales. A little is shogunai, it happens. Once all scales have been scraped off, we will make sure there are no small leftovers by using normal knife like we do for other fishes. One thing to be aware is that there is a line here creating a valley, so use the heel of your blade and scrape it off like this. Turn it over and check this side as well. Attention to detail is the key to yummy flounder. Time for filleting. Firstly, we will cut off the head in this hemisphere shape. As there is bone underneath this part, avoid it by allowing few millimeter as a space. Make a slit and stop when you reach the pectoral fit. Place the heel of your knife, then hit it a few times with your hand. You can rip off the top half of the head. The reason why we don't cut off the head at once is because there are guts beneath this part where Akira-san is pointing out. Use your finger and lift up the skin above the guts. While making sure not to cut open the guts, Aim your knife towards the pelvic fin and carefully slice it open. Green part here you can partially see is called nigadama, gallbladder in English. This is the part you don't want to pop it open. Now flip it around, slice open in hemisphere form from this side as well. Cut off the bone, then pull it apart from the body. There's flounder's egg hiding inside, so pull that out as well. Once that's done, cut open shiai, the bloody part, and rinse it well. Scrape blood off using your hand, if not a scrubbing brush or sasara. This is what the inside should look like after cleaning. All bloody parts are now gone. We will now break down flounder into 7 pieces. 
Make a small cut right above end of the fin here as a starting mark. Lift up the fin and you will find a crease right here. This line is where we want to run the knife through. So insert the tip of your blade from the starting mark we made earlier. And move the knife all the way up until here. Lift this part up, then cut it off like this. Check whether your finger runs smoothly between this gap. Now let's run the knife of Obsebone Flanders backbone that lies beneath where Akira-san is pointing out. Use the tip of your knife and simply just cut open the skin. As there are lots of bones around this edge, give a bit of oomph to cut it open. Now run your knife gently along the sebone. As Founder's Sebone has triangular cross-section, make sure to tilt your blade so that you can slice it along the bone. Then cut off the top half of the fin. Now work your knife right above Nakabone to detach meat from the bone. Top tip is to move your knife from top to bottom, then bring it back up. Akira-san is showing you the good example and the bad example here. So take a look. First fillet done! Yeah! Now do this for the other side as well. In the end, we will be able to obtain 4 sashimi blocks plus 2 strips of engawa altogether. Second fillet done! Yeah! Flip it around and repeat the same thing. In Japan, we often have different names for exact same fish, like we introduced to you in the Sayori episode. And this is no exception for flounder as well. Kirame is what we are most familiar with. Depending on its size, it changes the name to soge and zabuton. Soge is a word that has a meaning of a piece of bark that fell off a tree. Zabuton is a Japanese word for floor cushion. Different names, but all taste delicious. All we have to do now is to remove engawa from the bone. It's very simple. Use the heel of your blade and break the bone. This is super easy. As you can see, now we have divided flounder into seven pieces. Nanamai oroshi no kansei desu. In the next episode, we will use this lovely fillet to make gorgeous sashimi platter and will also feature nigiri recipes. So stay tuned! Thank you, Thank you and, and arigatou. arigatou! See you in the next video!